Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to dockerize and configure Nginx, including serving static content and more using Docker and also some Docker volumes. So to begin, let's just create an Nginx Docker container by using Docker run. What we're going to do is just map, we're going to name the container Nginxc and map port 6464 on our local host machine to port 80. And so the reason we map to port 80 inside the container right here is because by default, Nginx shares static content from the location. Let me paste it in right here. It shares static content from the location dash user dash share dash Nginx on port 80. And we can check this. So we can check this by sending a curl request. So if we do 6464 on our local host machine, we can see what we're returned is some static content that Nginx is serving up on port 80. And we can actually see the presence of this HTML file by navigating into our Nginx container. So let's actually go in here. So we're gonna run a shell against our Nginx container. Now if we navigate to dash user, dash share, dash Nginx HTML, if we list out what's in here, we can see two HTML files. So this was the HTML file that we got served up to us. And we also have an error page right here called 50x.html. And so we could also, of course, see the contents of this file if we send a, another curl request. So let's do curl localhost and 50x by HTML. Here's our error page that we just saw. And so because of this, if we want to serve up our own static content, we just need to copy it into this directory. So we just need to copy it into this user share directory. And we can easily do this with volumes. So what I have here is some static content, which is all about my Chrome extension called Witceptor. And now let's just stop this right here. And we're gonna run our container again, except this time, we're gonna have a volume. We just have a volume that's gonna place what we have in this folder into this location in our Nginx container, which is where the content is served up from. So now if we run this, we need to stop this container first. Let's also remove it. Now if we run this command and we go back to our shell right here, now let's curl this location and it's wit called witceptor.html. We can see we get our static content. So all we need to do is just create a volume there and we can get our own static content served up. And as this is a volume, we can get some live updates. So let's say it's so amazing and cool. And now if we send this curl again, we can see it's reflected right here. But so that's with serving static content. Now let's talk about configuration. So the main configuration file for Nginx is called nginx.conf. And so let's go back into our container using Docker exec and let's find the location of this and it, where it is, is dash etc, dash nginx. And if we list out what's in here, we can see nginx.conf. And now let's print out the contents of this. And a very important line is right here at the bottom. So we have our HTTP context, and then we have this include within it, which will import any configuration file inside this conf.d directory. So if we check this folder, so we're in it now, we can see a file called default.conf. And if we list out what's inside here, we can see a server context listening on port 80 on localhost and also setting the location of our static content. So it's this file here that is the reason we are getting all that static content served up on port 80. And so we can of course add our own custom configuration in a few ways. And the easiest would be to say import our own nginx.com file using volumes. However, we can also focus on just adding our own server context by adding our own .conf file to this directory. So I have one right here actually called default.conf. And actually I'm not gonna have what I have in here, paste something else in. And all we're gonna do is just change the port to 1234. So now let's stop our container, let's then remove it. And now let's create a volume to bring this file into the nginx container. So now we have another volume which places this default dot configuration file into, or basically replaces the one that's present in the container. So if we run this, and now let's go back into our Nginx container, and we go to the location of this. If we cat out what's in this file, we can see our changes are in here. And of course it's live, so say we change this to five, and now list it out again. We can see the changes have been reflected here. So we're inside right we're inside the container right now. So say we do curl localhost one two three five, I believe it was, and witceptor.html. We can see actually we're not getting any connection. 
if we actually change this to host1234 with scepter.html, we get a response back. And the reason is because even though we changed it to 1235, we need to reload this configuration. And if we're inside the container, all we'd have to do is just nginx dash s reload, where s right here signals the master nginx process. And reload, what it does is it keeps the nginx server running while rereading any configuration file updates. And then it reloads it. And if this is successful, now if we curl localhost 1235, we should get a response. So now it's on 1235 because we reloaded it with the new configuration. Of course, if you're outside of the container, you would have to run it here. So it'd be nginx, I forget how to do this, but you do like dash c and then um, type in the command there. But essentially you would have to reload it from outside of the container. But that's really what I wanted to show you with nginx and Docker, just basically a quick intro on how it works and how easy it is to set up. But so this is the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.